Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this is yet another video review. Today I will be looking at the ATI All in Wonder Radeon 8500 DV video card. This is part one of a two part video review on this card. Included in this retail version is the manuals. We have a couple software programs here, one called Mediator 6. This is basically a multimedia and web designing program right here. Here we have the ULEADS Video Studio. This is basically for making movies and doing video editing. The game that's included is Half-Life and they of course include the driver CD. Also they have the ATI in-out adapter. This adapter houses such things as the composite video, the S-video, and as well an extra firewire connector right here. Also they've included a very cool looking remote control. Right here we have three cables. We have a composite video cable, an S video cable, and they've also included a firewire cable. Also in this is a DVI connector and of course the video card. Let me now go over some of the details about the video card itself. The core speed is 230 megahertz and the memory speed on this video card is 100 and 19. This video card of course does come with TV capabilities and right here you can see that there is a TV tuner included. You plug your cable connection right into here. Of course this would give you the capability of having the TV on your computer. Right here is the DVI VGA connector. You can connect directly to any kind of DVI capable display or if you don't have one you can just use this DVI to VGA adapter and use a regular LCD or a regular CRT display. Right here is the connector for the ATI in-out adapter which I will be going over in further detail a little later and at the very bottom here we have the DV or the firewire connector right here. Let me now have a look at the ATI in-out adapter this is a very unique device. You can plug all kinds of cables in and out on this particular adapter. First of all, the adapter goes connected directly into the video card right here. Once that's done, there is a few connections to make. You want to make sure that this connector right here goes plugged into your sound cards out. You can then actually plug your speakers or anything else into here. This is basically a pass-through connector. This here goes into your either your mic or your line in. I would suggest this would be plugged into your line in on your sound card and this will give you the capability of listening to audio like from your TV. On the adapter itself one side is basically for the in and the other side is for the out. This is the side for the in you have the firewire connector here at the very top. Next to that is the S video connector. This here is the composite video connection and this is the audio, the right and the left connections. On the left hand side here we have at the very top this would actually be a connection. This is the S slash PDIF connection. This is basically the Dolby Digital AC3 amplifier. So you could go directly out right here into that kind of amplifier. You have the S video out right here. The composite video out right here. You have the audio out the left and the right right here. I should also mention that they actually have included some Velcro. This is a good idea. You can stick it on the back right here and of course mount the other piece wherever you want this to be stuck like maybe on the wall next to your computer so it makes it very very handy to hang up and, or just to have there and plug devices in and out of this. Of course if you want to pair it off it's Velcro and of course you can do with it what you want at that point. Included as well is the remote control. There is batteries included in the package as well as a USB receiver. 
this of course goes plugged directly into your computer's USB port. Let me now go over the remote control itself in further detail. At the very top right here we have a power button. There is buttons here called A, B, C, D, E, and F on this remote control. Those buttons you can actually program to launch whatever you want them to launch. As well, you have TV, DVD, web, on and off, or open and close. To the right, right here, you have the media center. You can launch that from this button. And right here is actually the drag mouse feature, enabling it or disabling it right here. Right here, you have the mouse controls, essentially. The left-hand side here, you have the left button on your mouse, right button here on the right-hand side, and right here, of course, is scrolling the mouse cursor around your screen. Right here we have the volume controls up and down, mute, and the channels up and down. Right here is the numbered keypad. Also you have at the very bottom here, you have skip, back, reverse, and forward. You have the play, you have the stop, you have a pause, and of course you have a record button right here. In part two on the 8500 DV video card video review, I will be looking at more detailed functionality on the TV aspects of this video card as well as gaming and some other benchmarks. This has been part one of the two part series on this video card. Be sure to check back in a few days. I will have part two where I will be giving you some of my opinions about this particular card and an overall rating. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new video review for you then. Also, be sure to check out my website at www.3dgameman.com, and while you're there, be sure to check out the forums. In the forums, you can find out more information about this product, as well as other products, you can go in there and register. Registration is free, and you can leave your suggestions and your comments. Until the next time, take care.